Hello, and welcome to a video on how to change difficulty on your Minecraft server. The difficulty of the server determines the number of mobs, player health, level of starvation, villagers becoming zombies, and much more. Currently, there are four different settings to choose from, which are peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. This guide will tell you everything you need to know about them. Here's a summary of the differences between each of the difficulty levels. Peaceful. Hostile mobs do not spawn naturally, except for a select few that do not deal damage to a player. When being on a higher difficulty and changing to peaceful, all hostile mobs are automatically despawned. Additionally, player health is restored much quicker on this difficulty. Easy. Hostile mobs do spawn on this difficulty. However, they do little damage compared to normal level. Player health does not decrease when they are starving. Normal. The default value. Hostile mobs deal normal damage, and a player's health will decrease by one heart when they are starving. Additionally, villagers have a half chance of becoming a zombie when they are killed by one. Hard. Hostile mobs cause more damage than normal, and players can starve to death. Villages will become zombies when they are killed by one, and zombies can break through doors. The first step is to go to scalacube.com and log into your account. Once logged in, go to Servers and click on Manage Server. Click Manage again. Locate Settings on the left tab and enter it. Find Server.Properties and click Change. We are now at the Server.Properties configuration file. Keep in mind that after any change is made, the server has to be restarted. Scroll down until you find the Difficulty Equals field and change it to your required setting. Click on Save on the bottom right and wait for the changes to apply. Click Back. Click on Manage. Click on Reboot to restart your server. After this is done, the difficulty is now changed to your selected setting, and you can easily now log back in to the server. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the Scalacube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.